Oh, and I see curly uh, hair. Bark. Juice. Bark. <laughs> and a whole bark. lot of personnel. Yo, so, yo you, are you for the comma? Yo, chill. YouTube, he took my crush. I would never get my crush taken. That's just me, personally. I ain't gonna lie. This guy's underrated as f That last video was good as hell. Alright, let's go. This time I was working in a part-time job at a Mexican restaurant called Luis. And at Luis, I was a busser. Now, a busser is someone who comes up and cleans your table after you get done eating. But I would switch between that or being a host, depending on if they needed me or not. But one day, I was working as a host, and usually we have two hosts on schedule, but it was just me. So I looked down at the schedule, and I seen a name, and it said Kaya, and it had new at the bottom. So I'm thinking to myself, oh, maybe it's just an old person or whatever. But I look back up, and I see... Curly uh, hair, bar, juice, bar. <laughs> and a whole bar. lot of personnel. Yo, so, yo, you, are you for the comma? Yo, chill. So she asked me, am I the one who's gonna be training her? And I'm like, yeah. So that first day, we was just chopping it up, and I had her giggling and laughing, and we all know the saying. And so four <laughs> weeks went by, and I'm not gonna lie, I was sprung. She got me. I call feeling. I call feeling. So on that following day, I came in, and I was scheduled one hour early before Akaya. So I was just sitting there, and one of the waiters walked up, and we can call him Bantuan. And he was like, yo, what's up, waiter? Hey, how you feel about Kaya? Man, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm kind of feeling her. I'm kind of feeling her. I might ask for her number tonight, but I don't know. What, for real? That's crazy. You know I got her number, right? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, you know, me and her be texting. Yeah, and I'm kind of getting the feeling that she might like me or something, but I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. F that. We spot. We fight on the spot. You over here asking me how I feel about Kaya, and then you finna just flex that you got her number and you been texting? Come on, bro. You know what you trying to do, bro. Stop that. Oh. <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of crazy how she gonna like and text the dead man. Cause you're not gonna leave this building unharmed. <laughs> yeah, but look, I really ain't feeling her like that. But I think I can put in a good word for you if you want. Oh man, you'll do that for me? The wingman, man. So Kaya comes in and our shift goes like usual, then we close. And as me and her walk into our cars, I stop her and I'm like, so Kaya, you know, you know, it's been like four months we've just been talking and stuff. And I'm kind of Four months and you ain't do nothing with that, bro? Come on, man. Look, yo, to all the chatters, bro. Yo, if you like a girl, you got to move quickly, bro. As soon as you see her, get, yo, you want to get the phone, you want to get the IG, whatever. Start talking to her immediately, bro. Don't wait four months. Just go after that immediately, bro. You waste time. If you waste time, another nigga finna go in and just swoop up, bro. Don't be patient. Just go after it. I'm not feeling you. And she says the same thing. So I pop the question on her. I'm like, can I, can I get your phone number? And she looks at me and she smiles and she holds her hand out. So I give her my phone and she typed it in. And she <laughs> hugs me and she gets in her car and leaves. See, what I keep trying to tell y'all, I'm 1%. I'm him. It's me. It's us. Can't nobody see me right now. Like, honestly. So I get home and I get ready for bed. And before I go to sleep, I text Kaya and I was like, hey, hope you made it home safe. Good night. And she responds back, K. K. K is crazy. She just gave you her number to be nice. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. K, she don't like you, bro. You know what? She, she's probably sleepy. She's probably sleepy. We got off late. So yeah, she's just tired. So I text one of my friends that worked with us at the time. And I was like, yo, I got Samantha's number, bro. I think I might get her. And he responded, hold on, what? Like, yo, I got Samantha's. I thought her name was Kaya. That nigga just leaked her name, bro. <laughs> he just leaked her real name, bro. His number, bro. I think I might get her. And he responds back, yo, that's crazy. It's crazy because me and her on FaceTime right now. Yo, yo, I think she's asleep. So I'm just sitting there looking at my phone. But I was just deafened by the sounds of police sirens for the two, for the two bodies I was going to catch. But I, but I text back, okay. And I went to sleep. So the following day, I walk into work and I'm like, okay, I, I got to confront her about this because like, I don't want to be drug along. So look, you look, know look, look, bro. I ain't going to lie. Look, at this point, the only thing you do about this move on that's not your girl you don't want to you never want to compete over a girl bro because the second you mess up she going into another dick bro she going to another dick don't even compete you leave it alone find somebody else you no know, just let me know what's up but as soon as i walk up to her 
All you hear is a And all I see is a track hawk pull up And a six foot hood nigga with tats and dreads gets out And he walks in the building I look over at Samantha and her eyes lights up Like come on bruh, come on So the dude walks over to the whole stand And he looks at Samantha and he says verbatim Hey you know the other day I seen you walking out And I thought you looked good But I had my girl with me so I couldn't really holla at you like how I wanted to but today she ain't with me so what's up can I get your number and she bites her lips and says yeah I don't mind being side chick here you go and the nigga Tall black and got a track hawk is too easy, bro. It's too easy. He dead ass. He had a girlfriend and she was like, I don't mind being a side chick. <laughs> no, nah, that shit too easy, bro. She a hard. Yo, what is, why does this guy always fall for the hoes, man? You gotta find you a good girl, bro. God damn. <laughs> That's a G code, man. The dips after that, and I'm just sitting there befuzzled. Like, what just happened? So after that, I just I didn't say a word to her because it's just like, like I don't want to compete with nobody for your attention. Like, no. So I just stopped. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> oh no, nah, bro. Crazy part about it, yo. You can't do shit about that, man. That nigga definitely got straps in that car, bro. All you can do is just try to call the cops and hope for the best. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs>